This is MIDI Vampire 2. It's a four voice drum machine, and just like MIDI Vampire 1, it's powered from the MIDI data line, so you can just plug in and play. There are four independent outs, one for each of the voices, two on left, two on right if you use just a single jack, otherwise one on each of left and right if you use both jacks. There are three different ways in which voices are created. There are long wave tables for the hi-hats and cymbals. There are shorter wave tables for voices two and four. And voice three is a filtered noise source. All of the voices have attack, decay, and release. Do long attack times. Long decay times. And if you turn up the release, it'll hang out at that really low level for quite some time. So you can choose exactly how harsh the note ends. There is also frequency. Over quite a range. And frequency sweep. and a big crusher effect, which can add some noise and gating to the sound. You can choose between the two wavetables, whether it's the, the hi-hats or the cymbals. Let's up the pitch on that cymbal. And you can choose the length of the wavetable. for very long. Down to very short for some more electronic sounds. For the shorter wavetables, again, you have the same long attack and decay times. There is also adjustment of frequency. and frequency sweep. There is also a bit crusher. You can adjust which wave tables you use. There are eight of them to choose from. And there's also frequency modulation, both in terms of depth and rate. The filtered noise source has control over cutoff and resonance, and the resonance is swept, so you can have the start and stop resonance be two different values, and you can sweep either up or down between them. So that's a short sweep time. And a long sweep time. And you can start at different values. And you can turn the resonance up pretty high such that the filter is self-resonant, essentially. So you can choose how much noise is in the filtered noise source. So 
So you can create more standard sounds or control a whole host of parameters to warp the sounds to your liking. It's the new MIDI Vampire 2.